Hi YouTube, Timothy Younger here. In this video, we're gonna install Visual Studio Code on a Chromebook. This is a 158 or so dollar Chromebook with taxes that I bought a few days ago from Walmart. And I'm gonna show you how to install Visual Studio Code on it so you can begin coding. And stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you a few things that can help uh, improve the performance of the Chromebook. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to the launcher, click on that and search for settings. I'm going to click on settings here and then I'm going to go find the advanced tab on the left and click to expand that and once that expands I can go down and click on developers and you'll see I have the Linux development environment option here to turn on. I'm going to click turn on and you have this wizard that comes on up. I'll click next and you see here it gives you a username which I believe is based off your email. I don't think you can change this later on. I've never tried. Uh, I'm going to leave it as is, but you could change it now if you want. And it gives you a recommended disk size, and you can also set a custom disk size. Now you can set the custom by dragging the slider around now, or you could change it later. I'm going to stick with the recommended and click install. This is going to take a few moments, so I'll come on back once this is done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. You can close out your settings now. I'm going to expand this and just increase the font size so you can see what I'm going to do. First thing we want to do is make sure that everything is up to date. So I'm going to do that by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersands for and sudo apt upgrade and then a dash y that flag at the end to say yes to the additional storage. That way I don't have to answer it again. If you don't do the dash y it'll just ask you if you want to use the additional storage for the upgrade. It's usually not much. Okay, that'll run through and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that is done, we can clear everything out with clear. You don't have to do this, but just makes it visually more easy for the video. And then I'm gonna install a recommended dependency for VS Code, which is the GNOME keyring. So I'm gonna type sudo apt install GNOME keyring. And I won't add the dash Y flag just to show you that it's gonna ask me to take a little space. So it's 12 megabytes of additional space. I'm going to say yes and click enter and let that run through. Okay. Once that's run through, you can exit out by just typing exit, uh, closing it out here or typing control D to close the terminal. And then you just want to make sure everything's closed there. Now you could pin the terminal to your uh, taskbar here in case you want to use it later on. But if not, then you know, you can find it in your launcher here. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up a browser and search for VS Code, okay? And you'll see this site, uh, code.visualstudio.com comes up. It recognizes that my device is a Chromebook and recommends the .deb file to download. Now this works with, um, you know, your regular Chromebooks, uh, the ARM-based Chromebooks might use something different. Anyway, so we're gonna click to download this, the .deb file. And once that downloads, it'll be an easy install. Okay, once that downloads, I can either go to my downloads folder or click on show in folder. That'll bring me there as well. And then what I'm going to do is right click and right here I have the option to install with Linux. You can also install via the command line. Um, but in this case, I think the easiest way is to install with Linux. I'll click on that. It's going to bring up the details. I'll click install and then OK. Okay, now the installation is complete. I can close this out. If I go to my launcher and search for Visual Studio Code, you'll see that the app comes up here with the icon. I'll click on that, it's gonna open up. Okay, once uh, the app pops up, I like to right click and pin it to my taskbar here and we can maximize this. This is the welcome screen where you can pick out the themes and you can go through tutorials to learn about VS Code. If that's valuable to you, certainly go through it. I'm just gonna mark done here and then we can close this out. You can uncheck the welcome screen if you don't wanna see it again. I'm gonna uncheck it and you're ready to go. You can open up the Explorer, open up a folder and beginning, begin creating uh, files in the Linux development environment. So now you got VS Code installed. So let me show you how to optimize the performance of your Chromebook in case you want to do that. So I'm going to close this out. I'll close this out. 
Now if I do Control alt t what I can do is this will bring up Crosh here, and if I want to make this a little bit larger so you can see it, I can run a command called swap enable and then type in the uh, amount of swap storage I want. And what that does, it basically takes the regular storage and allows you to use it for RAM. So if I type in 4000, and that gives me four gigabytes of swap storage. I'm gonna hit enter. I've already done this, so I'm not actually gonna do it, but uh, that'll allow you, once you restart the device, to have that swap storage. Now, if you wanna get rid of it, you can just type swap disable, hit enter, close out the terminal, and then restart your device. I'm gonna close this out. Another thing you can do to optimize this is go here to settings and click on settings and then remove the Google Play Store. Okay, I've already done that, but um, the Google Play Store does run in the background. It takes about, I, I, what I've heard is a half gigabyte of RAM just running in the background. So that'll free up some RAM so you can use VS Code and you can start it up and run it and your computer will run nice and fast and smooth. If you wanna make this look a little nicer, you can bring up the settings here. And once the settings pops up, you can search for our title bar. And you have this option of the native title bar. I like to do the custom. It tells me, hey, we need to restart. So restart. And there you go. You got the sweet title bar matching VS Code. If you do Control K, Control T, and what I do is just hold down Control and do KT. You can bring up and switch your themes. I like Monokai, but if you want to have like a lighter theme here, you could do the Light Plus, or you could do something like Quiet Light or something like that. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.